Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm using a composition notebook and I am basically just painting in it. I'm not doing anything special. Um, if anything, I'm just kind of painting basic backgrounds that I can later collage on top of or art journal on but I've just I've been kind of skipping from project to project lately because that's kind of how my brain is working right now so I want to kind of update you guys on what's been going on with me lately some of you have kind of figured it out um, the glue crew knows I let them know um, a little bit ago but earlier this month actually the first day of the month I think it was um, my father had to go into the hospital and he was there for a little over a week and we were told that he had um, not very long to live and he wanted to come home um, to pass. So uh, my mom worked frantically to make that happen because she also wanted that. And so my dad has been home now for two weeks um, so I have, um, been going over there and visiting and helping my mom with whatever she needs. And my sister has been going over there and spending a lot of time and helping. And, um, my cousins have been helping. I mean, just lots of people have been helping. And so our time has been really, um, devoted to spending the time that we have left with my dad. So that's kind of where I've been, why I haven't been posting as many videos as normal. But um, anyways, that's kind of the reason why I'm painting. So this weekend, it was, you know, I wasn't feeling very good and, you know, flare ups, all that kind of stuff. And it was really rainy. It, today was very rainy during this video. Like I almost wasn't able to record it because um, it was so dark outside. So anyways, um, I just, when I just need my mind to stop thinking for two seconds, I do things like this. And sometimes I just collage scrapbook paper or scrap paper or book page, whatever I have laying around on, um, composition notebooks. And you guys have seen that in the past. I do that. It's just a very relaxing technique for me. And so, I really encourage you to grab a composition notebook and some old paint. It doesn't have to be fancy paint. I'm not using anything fancy and just paint it on there. And I cannot tell you how relaxing it is. Now you guys know I don't like getting messy, but my hands end up covered in paint and I'm okay with that. Um, I really don't like my desk having like all these wet mediums on it <laughs> because like I just don't want paint everywhere. I know it's ridiculous. Listen, if I'm in a space that's designated for mess, I'm okay getting messy. But if I'm in a space that's not designed to be a messy area, I'm not a fan. Um, but anyways, I have been really enjoying just painting in this book and I did one art journal page and I posted that on my community tab. If you don't know what a community tab is, I've noticed several of you have mentioned that, especially glue crew members, you guys have your own tab. So you guys see things that the rest of the viewers don't see. Um, but a community tab, if you go to my homepage on my YouTube channel, it'll say like home videos, playlists, channels, members, um, and then, you know, and it'll say about, well, before about is the word community. If you click on that, you will see posts that I do that's kind of like an Instagram. So I'll just post, you know, whatever, really. <laughs> so um, don't forget to check that out. And especially um, if you're a Glue Crew member, check yours out too. Now you can't access it um, glue crew if you're in the YouTube app, but if you go to Google and Google YouTube and then go to my channel, you can see it. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. So anyways, so now I'm just taking some, um, crusty paint that I had. Well, you already saw me do it now. I was using some, well, the paint wasn't crusty, but what I put the paint on was crusty. So it made my circles crusty, which I really liked actually. 
um, I was using a paper towel roll and just made some circles with some gold paint. And man, I just, circles are my jam. I don't know. I mean, I feel like you're either really into circles or you aren't. And there's a lot of people really into circles. Um, I love using objects that I find um, when I, to make um, marks on my pages. And same with like jelly printing. Um, I have a bunch of things. I actually threw a bunch away when I was um, putting my new off my new craft room together. But things like caps from waters or toothpaste or whatever. And then here you're going to see me use. Um, it's actually the piece that my glue sticks come in. They are all stuck on these little circles. And I'm, I've saved several of these because I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm going to make little circle circles with that little piece. So yeah, that's a piece that comes with my glue sticks. That's how they're assembled or whatever. I don't know the word. Anyway, <laughs> I digress, but you know, I'm just having fun. And the cool thing about art journaling, um, if that's what you're going for is it's all about layers and, you know, you just keep playing until you're satisfied with the overall outcome of it. And for me, I wasn't really planning on art journaling in the beginning. I was just kind of painting pages and I have a bunch, I'll show you some more in here, where I basically just put the foundation of the paint down. And then when I'm feeling like it, I can come back and add more and do some stenciling or doodling or collaging with magazines or paper, whatever. So um, right now I'm just really having fun painting all the pages in my composition notebook. So this notebook, I did not glue. I know people are going to ask. I did not glue any of the pages together. So I'm literally painting every single page. Um, and it's just super fun. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. I love it so much. There's several times that I've done this where I just leave it on my desk and I come in and I just paint and paint and paint. And like this morning I was listening to, um, I've been following very closely the Summer Wells case. That's a little missing girl from Tennessee. She went missing last June and I've been following it religiously. And so I was listening to some things today regarding that case. Um, and so I was listening to that while I was doing this video. And then I just keep my little dryer there. I cut out a lot of the drying time part of the video because nobody needs to sit there and watch me dry for 10 minutes. That's literally my least favorite part. And you'll see I mess up so many times because I'm not patient enough to let my papers dry and move on to the next step. So that's an issue, <laughs> uh, but it's an okay issue. I'm, I'm not overly worried about it. it. The wonkier and the messier kind of the better when it comes to this kind of stuff. But even if you aren't into art journaling with pens and stamps and all that kind of stuff, if you just paint backgrounds like I did here and then add like um, focal images or collage images for magazines or books or whatever, it'll look really cool. These pens were driving me nuts every time. They're like the ink. I kept having to press it down, press it down. It was fighting with me. Oh, man, I had something I wanted to tell you guys. Now I don't remember. Ugh. It was really funny, too. I don't remember. Darn it. I'm not a huge fan of the way this page turned out. But you have to also remember, I'm not done yet. So when I say you have to remember, I'm really talking to myself. I need to remember that I'm not done yet. And each page doesn't have to be a masterpiece. I'm really honestly doing this because I need the relaxation and it's just fun to zone out. But yeah. So Jackson's back at school this week. Last week he was sick. I let him go and stay the night with some friends for the first time since COVID. And he got sick. Not COVID, thank God. Um, well, at least we don't think so. But he, we, he took two tests and they both came back negative. And then his friend that also was sick, he took a test and it was negative as well. So we think they just caught a cold. But I'm like, 
darn it. So Jackson's been struggling all week. He actually had to miss a day of school last week, you guys, and he was freaking out. <laughs> he was like, no, I'm going to get behind. And I'm, I had to assure him it would be just fine, but it was pretty cute. He's a cute kid. So I'm holding the pen the way I am because this is not normally how I hold a pen, but I was trying to hold it really loosely and kind of upright so that I wasn't making my squares perfect. I wanted them to be wonky. So I was trying to hold it really loosely, if that makes sense, so that I could just kind of make it all. I would allow myself the freedom to not make it perfect, if that makes sense. For somebody who tends to be more of a perfectionist, I would say 75, you guys would probably say 99% <laughs> of the time. Um, you know, it kind of just depends on my mood, but I was trying really hard to not have it be perfect. I had so much fun with this page. Ugh, so much fun. Am I done yet? Am I moving on to the next one? Oh, here I am trying to, <laughs> trying to check if it's dry, which doesn't work in my favor later on because I try doing this again and I get paint everywhere and I mess up my beautiful circles. You'll see. You'll see. Oh, there was a crusty up there. Picking off crusties. Picking off crust. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you so much for your overwhelming love and support of Bob for doing that voiceover for me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first of all, I did not coach him in any way, shape, or form. Um, I stuck him in my craft room, and I shut the door, and I walked away. Do you guys know? First of all, he had never seen the video before, so he was working on it. He was seeing it as you guys were seeing it. And two, oh, there's my art journal page that I did. Um, this is where I'm going to show you some of the pages that I've done that I'm not finished with yet. Um, and he only, tr he only took one take and he did that, that, I mean, he did that all on his own. I was so proud of him. I could not believe how good he did. And you guys were so sweet. He looked at all those comments too. So you really made his day and it was something really fun for us to do to kind of brighten up our lives right now. And it was so fun. He did so good. You know, he says he watches my videos sometimes, and I really wasn't sure how much he was actually paying attention, but he clearly was, because not only did he know what I was doing, but he knew the names of the stuff that I had, like my my tools and everything. I don't know. He was just, <sighs> good job, Bob. If you're watching this, I'm proud of you, babe. You did a good job. But yeah, it was really fun. So I also want to have Jackson do one. I don't know if Andrew would do it. Um Probably not, but Andrew or Jackson totally would. At least I feel like he would. But yeah, he will do it again sometime. And then I, a lot of you guys suggested one that I do the chipmunk voice for Bob. Let me tell you, <laughs> I took his audio <laughs> from that video and I made it chipmunk form. Oh my gosh, he sounds awesome. So I will do that too. And then I, I will have him craft with me one day as well. But yeah, that was really fun. I, I really enjoyed that. He did so good. I just can't even believe it. So the other day I called my sister and I was talking to her about something. And she was talking to her older son who's five. And then he said, <laughs> she said, I'm talking to auntie. And he's like, auntie. And so he gets on the phone and so we start talking and that turns into a conversation I was having with my sister to now I'm having a conversation with my five-year-old nephew and oh my gosh, he is so cute. I can't even stand it. And I was trying to explain to him that his mom is my little sister and that Grammy is our mom. It, it You know, it's confusing for kids, but I was saying that I sung to my mom's belly when my sister was in there. And so then he was asking me what kind of song. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> that was like decades ago. <laughs> um, I said that I pretty much made up my own songs. And then I sang Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And so then he's like, well, will you sing it for me? And I said, well, will you sing it with me? So we sang Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star together, you guys, on the phone. And it was the cutest thing ever. So cute. 
I, okay, back to what I'm doing here. I really love this color pattern. Something about it reminds me of like a Hawaiian sunset or something. I don't know. Yes, I realize I'm drying that weird, but I had to hold it where I was holding it and I wanted to get behind there to dry. So what you will notice when you are painting on the composition notebook paper, because it's very thin, um, it's very fragile when it's wet, but when it's dry, it's not nearly as fragile. And those wrinkles that you see around the spine, those will flatten down, especially if you dry the back side of the pages. Um, don't just dry the top. Um, it'll dry a lot quicker if you um, dry from behind the page as well. Okay, so then I was like, do I do this? Do I not do this? And then I was like, well, if you're going to try it, this would be the area to try it in. You know, if you don't like it, just paint over it. So I don't like it. <laughs> and, but I mean, not in a bad way. It's just I need to do more to it. So I don't end up totally finishing this back. None of these are finished. Um, but I I had to stop because I kept trying to fix it. And I, I was just kind of at the end of my day. I had been painting for like three hours and, you know, I was already not really feeling very good. So I just, I kind of needed to stop and I didn't, I kept going. And then I just told myself, okay, Nicole, you're done here. And so it's sitting on my desk. And when I go back in there, I will play with it some more and try to, um, fix some of the mistakes you'll see I do here in just a second. Oh my gosh, blow drying this stuff is the bane of my existence. It's like my least favorite part. I don't mind it if it goes fast, but oh my gosh, sometimes I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Here I am complaining about my dirty hands. <laughs> yeah, I was just telling you guys that I was totally fine with it. But then I looked down and I was like, oh my gosh, my hands are so gross. I even washed them and I still have paint on them. But I'm okay with it. So then I was like, well, I want to do some lines. And then I started doing them way too close together because I was not paying attention. I was watching something that was like really interesting on my laptop right in front. And um, yeah, and then I did that and I hate it. <laughs> I do. I hate it so much. Um, but I'll go back and I will... Um, I'll fix these white lines and I will make them a little bit better. But in the moment, I just kind of wanted to put down the basic stripes and then go back to it later. That's the thing. Like, I'm not upset that I messed up or it's not to my liking. I just need to let it dry and then come back to it with a fresh face. So if I was still in the mood to keep painting, I would just dry it, flip the page and come back to it a different day. Um, but I had to go pick up Jackson from school. That's where I'm at right now. And, um, yeah, so I'll go back and I'll fin I'll fix it. Okay, this kid is getting into his car right next to me. Awkward. I'm not a film in public kind of person. <laughs> okay, good. He's, he's in his car now. We're safe. So then I decided, well, I didn't like that it wasn't crisp along the edge there. So I went through with a paint pen, a Posca, and okay, never should have done that because I was going the opposite direction. So then I tried to go the right direction, and that's where I messed up the first time. <laughs> it's just, but you know, when I'm looking at it here, wonky is good. So I'm glad that um, it's not perfect. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be perfect. I just didn't want it to look like that. <laughs> so I have to go and fix it. Um, this is a stencil from the Dollar Tree. And um, this is kind of another part where I mess up, but it's okay because there's they're happy little accidents. The cool thing about accidents when you're art journaling is it kind of forces you outside your box, outside outside your box, <laughs> outside the box, and um, out of your comfort zone because you know you kind of have to fix things and change things up. And 
Okay, so I have been using a beauty blender from the Dollar Tree as my sponge, and it's been really nice. I've been using it on pages, and I use it for stencils. I was going to add one more bird, but I thought, no, I better wait until I fix the little spots I got blue on and let these dry before I add any more. So I was just adding a little bit of pink there to kind of cover that up, just a hair. It doesn't have to be totally gone. I just didn't want it to be like so in your face. Um, and it didn't work. So I got to go back again. That paint, the pink was really thin. And did you guys see the name on the paint? It says Nicole. Nicole's paint. I know. It's so cute, right? It's not literally mine, but somebody named Nicole made paint. And I bought it because it said my name on it. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> 100%. All right, guys, I'm about ready to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to grab a composition notebook, slap some of that old paint that you have lying around or that new stuff you've been hoarding for months into a composition notebook, put on a good movie and just chill and relax. And I promise you, you will have so much fun. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you to everybody for your kind words and prayers for my father and my family during this time. We appreciate it very much. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. And until next time, bye.